Hello, Anchorage. Following the municipal charter and the municipal code, the municipal clerk's office works diligently to oversee fair and accurate elections. Processes are set out in code in order to improve transparency and accountability of municipal elections. In this video, we'll highlight the procedures in place to ensure that all eligible votes are counted while maintaining security and preventing fraud. The election facility was selected because it is one large open area monitored by security cameras. There is also an intrusion alert system in place when the election center is closed. The election system containing confidential voter information is not connected to the internet. All signatures are checked against signatures in the state of Alaska voter registration system. Secure drop boxes are emptied often. Workers are trained to securely handle voting materials. All voting materials are locked up in cages on the floor when not actively being processed by election staff. Everyone at the election center wears a color-coded lanyard to identify themselves as either staff, core team leaders, election observers, and visitors. Everyone working at the Municipal Election Center takes an oath, signs a confidentiality agreement, and teams always work in pairs when handling ballots. The storage areas for unopened ballots, unscanned ballots, and counted ballots are locked. The voter database server and the tabulation server are also locked. These servers are not connected to the internet. The election team undergoes special training to compare the signature on the ballot envelope to signatures on file from the state of Alaska voter registration database. Each signature is reviewed by two election workers before being approved. There are more than 1 million signatures available for the over 240,000 Anchorage voters. Ballot envelopes are assigned a unique ballot package ID for each individual ballot package mailed to each voter. Upon return, only one ballot return envelope from any voter is accepted, the first one into the system. All others are rejected. Ballots in an envelope with no barcode are rejected. If a voter requests a replacement ballot, the old barcode is voided and only the new one will be processed. Voting more than once in the same election, with the intent for your vote to be counted more than once, constitutes voter misconduct and is a crime under municipal and state law. If there are challenges with a signature on the ballot envelope, the election team reaches out to voters to rectify or cure the issues. If these problems cannot be fixed, the votes are not counted. Blue and black pens are not allowed in the area where ballot return envelopes are opened to ensure that the ballots cannot be marked or changed. Observers associated with the candidates or organizations supporting or opposing propositions are allowed to view the entire process. Visitors are welcome at the Municipal Election Center, but the number of visitors is limited, so please call in advance. When at the Election Center, masks and social distancing are required. How to vote. Voting at home is easy. Once you receive your ballot in the mail, mark your choices by filling in the ovals and then place your ballot in the secrecy sleeve. Then, place both into the enclosed ballot return envelope. Sign the declaration on the back of the ballot return envelope. Return your ballot by placing it in a secure drop box or return it to an Anchorage Vote Center or mail it through the U.S. Postal Service with first-class postage. Secure drop boxes will be opened beginning March 16, 2021 for voters to return their ballot at any time before 8 p.m. on election night. To find the location of the secure drop box or Anchorage Vote Center nearest you, visit muni.org, go to the elections page, and click on the voter information tab, or call 243-VOTE. Thank you for joining us in today's video on elections and ballot security. We hope you learned more about the voting process and systems in place to ensure a safe, secure, and smooth election.